Karen police were called out to the home just after 4:15 this afternoon. A 90 year old man and an 85 year old woman were found laying just inside their home, barely breathing. They were last seen about 6:30 yesterday evening. Family members could not get a hold of the couple, so the daughter and the granddaughter came to check on them this afternoon. Driving up, the family noticed the couple's car was missing. Then when they got to the front door, the family noticed it had been kicked in. Inside, the husband was lying there moaning and the wife was barely breathing. They are in critical condition at a local hospital. Officers are now canvassing the neighborhood to see if anyone saw suspicious activity. Police are also at the hospital trying to get any kind of statement from the husband and wife that they can. However, they are not able to speak or communicate at this time. We'll bring you more tonight on 2 News at 10. Live in North Tulsa, Liz Bryant, 2 News works for you. An elderly woman has now died after she and her husband were brutally attacked, and a teenager is now accused of her murder. 2 News reporter Dan Perlman is live from the county jail with the latest developments. Dan? Well, Tyrone Woodfork is here now, but he is expected in court just a little bit later on this morning. He was booked on several counts, first-degree murder, first-degree burglary, two counts of armed robbery, and assault with a dangerous weapon. 85-year-old Nancy Strait died from her injuries last night. Her 90-year-old husband, Bob, remains in the hospital this morning. The couple's daughter and granddaughter found them on Wednesday, both brutally beaten inside their North Tulsa home. Investigators arrested Woodfork Thursday afternoon after finding the couple's missing vehicle. This whole chain of events is something the Straits' friends and family are having a hard time coming to grips with. I just I don't know how to understand how mean people can be to good people. Bob and Nancy's family has set up a support trust for the couple at Arvest Bank. Live in downtown Tulsa, Dan Perlman, 2 News, works for you. When I was holding his hand, you could, he's like shaking on the inside. He's scared. And when we told him, asking him yesterday, is he ready to go home, he thought he was going home. Bob Strait is staying at one of his daughter's homes instead. He's not going back to that house ever. The couple was ambushed and robbed last week in their North Tulsa home. Police have one suspect in custody, 21-year-old Tyrone Woodfork. He's facing first-degree murder charges, among others. The result of the attack left Bob straight with a broken jaw, internal bleeding, and BB gun wounds. His wife, Nancy, didn't survive her injuries. After he found out she was gone, of course, we, we brought her in to him, and, um, Attorney where he couldn't see her bad side, and he held her hand for quite a while. And then all he could say was, I love that old woman. I love that old woman for so long. The couple had been married for more than 65 years, and daughter Lenora doesn't know if her dad will be able to survive much longer without his soulmate. So now that she's gone, I don't know. I don't expect much. I hope for it, but. At this point, police are still investigating, and they say there could be more suspects on the loose. Family members are hopeful they will be caught, so something like this doesn't happen to anyone else. No, not like this. No one should take your parents away, or anybody should take anyone away from you. And one thing I've learned, you need to let people that you love know you love them, because you don't know if you're going to see them tomorrow. Nancy Strait, the elderly couple beaten in their home Wednesday during a robbery. The couple had been married more than 65 years, had six children, 18 grandchildren. They were great, great, great mm -hmm. grandparents. They had been sick for the past week from food poisoning and the flu and had just agreed to move into an assisted living facility the day before they were attacked so viciously. Nancy died from her injuries. Bob is still in the hospital. The family talked only to the News on Six. Bob Strait was a paratrooper in World War II with the 101st Airborne, went in on D-Day and served the entire time, was awarded the Bronze Star. Nancy grew up in a log cabin in Kenwood, Oklahoma with no running water. She moved to Tulsa to work during the war and after is when the two met. They met three weeks and got married. Friday the 13th, Friday the 13th in 1946. 46. 
and they've been married 65 years and three months. Nancy was a homemaker who made quilts and homemade jellies. Bob was a welder by trade and did woodworking as a hobby. The two of them did everything together, grocery shopping, doctor's visits, you name it. My mama was the kind, if you came in, she would say, go to the kitchen and help yourself to some groceries or let me get you something. And she fed everybody. He's the kind of guy that if your car breaks down on the highway, he can fix it and he can stop and fix your car. They would do anything and help anyone, which makes it so hard to understand why the men who kicked in their back door beat them so viciously just to take their TV, $200 cash, and a BB gun. Nancy didn't survive. Bob has a broken jaw, cracked ribs, and a BB lodged in his face. They were already frail and in bad health. That's why this was so senseless. Oh, yeah. 90, 97 pounds, a little over 100 pounds. Oh, my dad. Weak yeah. from having food poisoning, the flu. They would have done anything. 19 year old Tyrone Woodfork is in custody. He lived just four houses down from the Straits. He was on a suspended sentence for a 2010 burglary conviction. Police say they are looking for four or five more men. As for the Straits children, their focus is on the love their parents shared and helping their father cope. That's all my father could say when he found out mother had passed away was, I loved that woman. I love that, I old, loved that woman. old woman. I love that old woman. So, so long I've loved that old woman. See, we were the family wants to thank everybody for their good wishes and urges anyone who knows who these other suspects are to turn them in. That can be done through Crime Stoppers at 918-596-COPS. Until we get all these guys off the street, we won't rest. Officer Jason Willingham says investigators believe that 19-year-old Tyrone Woodfork didn't act alone in the brutal attack that left Nancy Strait dead and her 90-year-old husband Bob severely beaten. In all likelihood, he didn't act alone. There were other people involved in this. Whether it was at the uh, time of the crime or after the fact, uh, we don't know yet. Arrest documents paint a shocking picture of what the couple endured. Their back door was kicked in. Both Bob and Nancy suffered blunt force trauma to the head. Nancy was sexually assaulted. A BB was found launched in Bob's face, likely from his own BB gun that was stolen, along with the couple's flat screen TV and $200 in cash and jewelry. We spoke by phone with the victim's daughter, Lenora. She said they were both in frail health. They would have done whatever was asked of them. There was no need to do this. He is a monster. Lenora credits the man who spotted Woodfork driving her parents' car on Thursday for helping to solve the case. She says the caller put his life on the line. My thanks to him for his courage and care. And it was going to be a difficult investigation in the, in the aspect of we didn't have a lot to go on. Willingham says locating the car was the break that investigators needed. This citizen did exactly what he was, uh, should have done. And, um, you know, as a result, you know, we, we were able to locate the victim's vehicle. Uh, get our uh, first suspect in custody. Police now also know that Woodfork sold the couple's TV to a witness at a shell station on Charles Page Boulevard the same day as the attack. Two weeks after Bob and Nancy Strait were attacked in their Tulsa home, there is a new call for justice. 85 year old Nancy Strait died. Her 90 year old husband Bob still recovering. So far, only one arrest has been made, but investigators believe more people are responsible. Fox 23's Frank Wiley is reporting live to explain a complete stranger, Frank, is getting involved. Yes, indeed, Clay. And the couple you're talking about lived on this street, and the woman who created that Facebook page, she's just like everyone who's commented. She wants answers. More than two weeks have passed, and images of this crime scene haven't left Carrie Folsom. The story of an elderly couple, Bob and Nancy Strait, that had their 65-year marriage ended with an assault that would leave Nancy dead and Bob with a broken jaw and fractured ribs. I was raised to always respect her elders growing up. She's been following updates on TV and online. When she heard that only one person had been arrested for the crime, it sent her over the edge. There are people out there who know more than what they're saying and they're just letting it go. It's sickening. Police are looking for at least five potential suspects. Carrie wants to help find them, so Monday night, she did it. She created a Facebook page, Justice for Bob and Nancy Strait. It's already grabbed quite a following. If it has to be my face and my voice to put out there to find this couple justice, then that's what I have to do. She figures word of mouth is the best way, especially since just about everyone is connected online. It needs to be known. I mean, it's happening in everybody's backyard. She never knew this couple. But it didn't matter. She resembles my grandma so much. 
And by the way, folks, in this neighborhood, we'll begin a, an alert neighbor program. And if you know anything about that crime, go ahead and call Crime Stoppers. That number, 918-596-COPS. Live in North Tulsa, Frank Wiley, Fox 23 News. Two men captured on surveillance video could give police the information they need in the case of an elderly couple beaten in their North Tulsa home. But police do need your help to figure out who those men could be. Fox 23's Dante Carter spoke with neighbors and one of the daughters of the couple asking people to come forward. For people in this neighborhood, this serves as a reminder that this could have happened to any one of them. It's a memory they'll never forget. If the means were possible, I would leave it because I don't, and I'm not safe here anymore. I don't feel safe here anymore. It's a fear many of her neighbors have. She didn't want to be seen on camera, but knows this community can't afford to be quiet. Not after what happened to Nancy and Bob Strait. This used to be a, a really nice, very good neighborhood. Things have changed. Now police need your help identifying these two persons of interest. Police believe they may know more about the straight stolen Plymouth Neon. Their family's pleading for someone to come forward. I hope they come forward. I hope you do what you need to do. I realize that you may think you know nothing. It may be just a little tidbit, but that may be what it takes to break the case. Police have arrested 20-year-old Tyrone Woodfork. They found Woodfork driving the couple's stolen car the next day, and they think he didn't work alone. These people are still out there, and if they don't have a conscience, if this doesn't bother them what they did, then they're going to do it again. So they need to be caught. They need to be tried. They need to take the punishment that is you know, hand it out to them. But they can't do it without the community and their tips. If we as neighbors don't start coming together, I mean, we need to come together just to stop this crime. The, the random shooters, the home invasions, this has to stop. If they know who they are, if they have any kind of information, they need to let it be known to the police department so they can do their jobs. Next Saturday, neighbors will come together for their next neighborhood watch group to discuss how they can better protect these streets. Reporting in North Tulsa, I'm Dante Carter, Fox 23 News. And if you have any information, please call TPD's homicide tip line at number 918-596-2677. A community comes together, turning neighbors into families. It's the start of an alert neighbor program in North Tulsa after a wave of violent crimes in the area, including the deadly attack of Nancy and Bob Strait that happened in the 3300 block of East Virgin Street two weeks ago. Their neighborhood had to do something about it. And Fox 23's Danica Lawrence joins us from a memorial for the Strait family. Hi, Frank. Look right behind me. There's a memorial on the Strait family's lawn. The neighbors created this earlier today. And they also got in their other neighbors' faces with this flyer, letting people know that crime isn't welcomed here. Meeting those next door. How you doing? I'm Myron. I'm right there on the corner. They say it'll take going door to door, getting to know neighbors. Myron Washington and Diane Johnson have been at it all morning, introducing themselves. Uh, okay. <laughs> they live across from the Straits' home, the elderly couple who was attacked. No one here will soon forget what happened. By losing Miss Nancy, um, it's like a part of our family. We have talked about it, we prayed about it, we cried about it, and it's just unbelievable that something like this would happen here on our street. And everyone who lives here is seen as family. We want to be safe. We want to feel safe. Talking with their neighbors about starting an alert neighbor program turned into something more, a memorial service on the Straits lawn. The things that this family is going through, they need you. Some of these neighbors didn't even know Nancy or Bob Strait, but they came by here today, dropping off their gifts, saying their prayers, letting the Strait family know they will do everything they can to never let an attack happen again in this neighborhood. It makes you 